Hello, I'm Greg Grexa, Senior Instructor here at Wobble Green Golf Club. Today let's take a moment and talk about the Orange Whip. Fantastic training aid. I've been using it now for about four years, a little longer than that, give or take a couple of months. I really, really like it a lot. And I'm here to talk today about a couple of simple things that you can do to use the Orange Whip correctly and improve your golf game. Okay, first of all, a couple of things that you must know about the Orange Whip. First of all, it's a call to whip because it's very flexible. It has a couple of balance balls, one here at the grip end and one here where the golf club head would be. The reason this was designed without having the golf club head in mind is so that you can focus on just controlling the motion of your body without worrying what the club face is going to do. With that being said, if you swing the orange whip correctly and you can control your body, the only other thing that you'd have to worry about was getting the golf club square. So keep that in mind as we discuss a couple of simple things that you can do to make your swing better. The first thing that you want to do is get loosened up using the orange whip. You, this is a great training tool, by the way, to get loosened up before you start your round. I, I keep mine in my golf bag all the time, and I'll just make a bunch of swings with it just to get loosened up before I go out to play or get loosened up uh, on the range before I go ahead and go out and play. Uh, you can feel the motion of the whip just by swinging it. And again, the balance balls will help you stay balanced as you swing the golf club, or in this case, the orange whip. Uh, by the way, you can visit the website at orangewhiptrainer.com to get more information. As I start to get loosened up here a little bit, making some swings, what you'll see is Obviously, if I use my hands, then I'm going to get out of control, and that's going to show that I've been too forceful with my transition. The idea is to not be forceful with your transition, is to stay smooth and in rhythm. If you jerk your hands, or you get quick with the flicking of your wrists, you're going to lose control of the whip. If you use your body, keep your arms and your hands passive. This is going to help you build rhythm, tempo, and swing speed through the hit. And that's basically what it says right here. Again, go to orangewhiptrainer.com. Uh, by the way, you can use my promo code, which is Greg, G-R-E-G. -E Get yourself a small discount on one of the orange whips just by using my promo code just by going to orangewhiptrainer.com but it says right on the orange whip it says start by swinging slowly and in rhythm increase pace and maintain balance go ahead give it a try i think you'll really like it and you'll find that you improve your rhythm tempo and swing speed through the hit by using the orange whip trainer